Hi, my name's Sally. I'm a physiotherapist and alongside fellow physio Maria Lewis, we deliver online exercise to people with Parkinson's via our virtual clinic. Today, we're going to do a chair-based class. It's gonna be mostly aerobic. You're gonna need a strong, sturdy chair without any arms. Have a drink of water nearby, and if you need any medications such as GTN sprays or asthma pumps, make sure that they're also to hand. If you're exercising on your own, it's a good idea to make sure that your phone is nearby. So if you do get into any bother, you can call out for help. If at any point during the exercises you feel unwell or uncomfortable or experience any pain, then I need you to stop. This workout is intended for people who are already used to regular exercise. Let's get started. Let's start with a warm up. So I want you to sit in the centre of your chair with your feet at about shoulder width apart. Rest your hands up onto your thighs and sit as tall as you can. I'm going to start with some nice big deep breaths. So if you can breathe in for me, wide and full to the bottom of the ribs and then exhale, let those shoulders relax. Twice more, big deep breath in. And then exhale, relax. One last time. Excellent, well done. Good, now we're going to stretch out the side of the neck. So just want you to tip your ear over to your shoulder on one side. Come all the way back up and then over onto the other side and all the way back up. Let's go one more time each way. Fantastic, well done. Now let's loosen out the shoulders, roll them up, round and back. And again, up, round and back. And as you roll these shoulders back, Imagine that you're trying to tuck the bottom of the shoulder blades into your back pocket. So up, round, tuck them in. And one last time, up, round, and tuck them in. Well done. Now if you bring your arms across your chest for me, we're going to twist through the middle back. So I want you to turn, and as you turn, try and look over your shoulder. Come back into the middle, and then round the other way. Turn, and back into the middle. Just go as far as you're comfortable to manage each way, go once more, lovely, well done, and then resting the hands back onto the thighs again. We're going to do some pelvic tilting, so I need you to pull the belly button backwards towards the back of the chair, and then push the belly button forward, raise the eye line slightly, and repeat, so we tilt back, and then push up, again, tilt back, and push up. Let's just do a couple more, tilt back so you're rolling on and off your sitting bones. Last one. Excellent stuff, well done. Now let the arms hang down by your side. The weight of the hands is pulling the shoulders away from the ears. You're going to draw a giant martini glass for me. So we come up the stem of the glass. When you get to shoulder height, just turn the hands out slightly and then push the thumbs towards the back of the room and then down and bring the arms through again. Good, so it's up, out on a diagonal, down, and in. We'll do twice more like that. Up, stretch open and out, down, and in, and again. Up, open and out, down, and in. Leave the arms down by your side, turn the palms of their face forward, and extend right through to the tips of your fingers. We're gonna side bend over one way, come back up. Side bend the other way, and come back up. Let's go one more each side. Over and up, over and up. Lovely, hands back onto the thighs again, and then I want you just to paddle your feet up and down for me. That's it, good. So just getting a little bit of movement through the foot and ankle. We're going to go for five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. And then just pop up onto the toes on one foot and circle round at the ankle. And then change direction. Good. And the other way, other foot. And then round the other way. Fantastic, well done. 
This is the main part of your workout. I've got six exercises for you. We're going to repeat them in a rotation and we'll do them all four times round. The first time we do them, we're going to take a little bit of time to explain the movement and get used to the feeling of it. Second, third and fourth times, I'm going to challenge you to work a little bit harder. We're going to work for 40 seconds, rest for 20. Next exercise, work for 40 seconds, rest for 20. So during that 40 seconds work, you work as hard as you can. This is where we want to get you working on your vigorous component of exercise. If at any point you feel any pain or discomfort, then like I said before, you stop and have a rest. Work at a pace that you're comfortable to manage. Okay, let's get started with our first exercise. So we're sitting in the centre of our chair with the feet about shoulder width apart. I want you to lean forward slightly from the waist, so if I come this way, we're going to lean forward slightly and take both arms out in front with the elbow straight, pointing right through to the tips of the fingers. And then we're going to paddle the arms up and down. So they're coming as low as the knees and just a little bit higher than your eye line. And we're working in that range there, paddling the arms through. Try and keep the shoulders down. Remember in the warm-up I said about tucking your shoulders into your back pockets? That's the feeling I want you to have here. We'll just go for a couple more each side. Brilliant, well done. And then take a rest. Our next exercise, again we're in the centre of the chair and feet about shoulder width apart. It's called step touch, so you're going to take that foot out to the side, working on a bit of a stretch through the inner thigh, come back in, other side and back in. And we just keep alternating side to side. Good. So this is a bit of a compromise, we want you to get a nice big range of movement, but I also want you to be able to work on that intensity component, so getting your heart rate up. Good. Lovely. We'll just do a couple more on each leg. Excellent. Well done. And then take a little break there. Next exercise, I call this lawnmower. So our feet are going to be wider than hip width apart. Toes pointing outwards on a slight diagonal, so kind of 10 to 2. We start with a fist. We're going to grab and then pull, like you're pulling the cord on a lawnmower to start it. Come back down and we'll stop and swap to the other side. So grab, pull up and in. Grab, pull up and in. So grab, power as you come up, bring the elbow high and in. Grab, pull up and in. Let's just keep going on this one. Keeping that elbow high as you come up. Try and look at the elbow as it comes through. Let's go one more. And then we bring the feet back in to where you started. Our next exercise is knee lift and kick out. I'm going to turn sideways just so that you can see what I want you to do. You're a little bit further forward in the seat of your chair now. And you're going to lean back, holding on to the back of the chair there. Chest open nice and tall. You bring the knee up. You kick out, bring the knee up and come down. Bring the knee up, take it out, bring it up and down. And then if you're able to pick up the pace on that movement, then you do that. Like a marching action with that kick out. Good, keep going. And we'll do one more each side. Brilliant, well done. Back into the centre of your chair again. This exercise is called Archer, so it's great for providing a twist around the middle back. We're taking both arms out straight, reach right through to the tips of your fingers, and then you're going to pull one arm back. Your thumb comes up to the shoulder, you look at the elbow and reach forward with that other arm. Take it out. Swap to the other side, pull through and out. And keep twisting from side to side. Keep going with that one. If I come side up, I want you to see that my elbow stays up high. So try and concentrate on that. 
Keeping the elbow high as you pull through each side. We'll go one more on each side. Breathe in well done, and then resting down. Final exercise in our sequence of six is called fast feet. So come a little bit further forward in your chair again, holding onto the back of the chair, and then we're starting with our feet in together. You're then going to take them out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Good. So you get a rate and a tempo that you're comfortable to work with. If you can't keep up with me, don't worry. If I'm going too slow, then by all means you kick on and go ahead. So we want to work as hard as you're comfortable to manage. And those feet are going in and out. Fast feet. Just a little bit longer. Excellent, well done. Good. So we're going to get into that proper circuit style now. You're going to hear two bells. One is when we start, the next is when we stop. So that will signify our 40 seconds of work. We get 20 seconds to rest and we're going to work through that cycle three times. Here we go. Arm paddles. So centre of the chair, arms out in front and here we go. So the arm comes as low as the knee and just slightly higher than your eye line. Try and get a nice steady tempo going and stick to that rate. Shoulders down away from the ears. Keep going. Got five seconds left. Well done, lovely. 20 seconds rest, so just give those arms a little shake out. Our next exercise is gonna be our step touch. So right into the center of the chair, up as tall as you can, with those shoulders down. You can either keep your hands on your thighs or hands onto the hips, whatever feels more comfortable. Here we go, out and in. Stay up tall. Getting that nice big range through the hip. Making sure that we're working vigorously. So just going as fast as you're comfortable to manage. Good, you're nearly there. And 20 seconds rest. We're going to do our lawnmower next. So I need you to take your feet a little bit wider and come a little bit further forward into the seat of the chair. Knees pointing in the direction of the toes. And we're going in three, two, and one. Pull and up, swap to the other side. Pull, up, swap. Good. Look up at that elbow as you come round. Lovely. And then remember placing that other hand back down onto the thigh before we squat to the other side. Almost done. Lovely, and then 20 seconds rest again. We're doing a knee lift and a kick out next. So you definitely want to be further forward in the seat of your chair, holding onto the back of the seat of the chair. I'm just coming this way so you can see what I'm doing. And then we're gonna bring the knee up and kick out. Nearly time, here we go. Up, out, up, in, and then swap to the other sides. So work as, you, as hard as you can for this block. Stay up tall. Straighten that knee out as you push the leg away. Almost done. 
sun. Lovely. And then relax. We're going on to Archer next. So that's the one with the arms up. And we pull through. So sit in the centre of the seat of your chair now. Equal weight across both bum cheeks. Nice and tall. Take those arms out in front. And here we go. We're going to pull through. Push away. Pull through and push away. So you're working at your own tempo. Doesn't matter if you can't keep up with me or if it feels like I'm going a little bit too slow. You go ahead as long as you're getting that full range of movement. Big movement as you pull through. Look at the elbow as you turn back. We've nearly done with this one. Excellent, well done. Shake those arms out. Fast feet are coming up next. So you do need to be that little bit further forward in the seat of your chair, holding onto the back and leaning back slightly. Feet in to start off with, and we're going out and in. Almost time. Here we go. So you're working as hard as you can for this block of effort. See if you can keep that tempo up. You're over halfway. Keep working. Nearly done. Fantastic, well done. And then a little break. So that's the first time round of our work and rest. We've got two more times to go. So next one, we'll be back to that straight arm paddle. Get yourself sat firmly in the seat of your chair. Arms out in front. And then we're ready to paddle. Off we go. So leaning forwards from the hips. Lengthen right through the crown of your head. Get that nice big range of movement with the arms. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears. You've got 10 seconds left, keep working. Almost there. Fantastic, well done. And relaxing the arms out. You should be starting to feel a tiny bit breathless now. This is good. So use this rest period. And then we're going on to step touch next. In three, two, and one. Out and in. Good. To go as far as you can into the range. Stay sat up tall. Keep going. Almost done. Lovely. And then rest again. Give the legs a little shake out if they need it. We're going on to our lawnmower next. So taking the feet wider than hips dance apart, toes pointing slightly outwards, and the knees pointing in the same direction as the toes. Let's get ready to grab down. And here we go, we pull up and in. Grab down, pull up and in. Down, pull and in. Keep going. Grab as you pull in. So reaching the hand out, make a fist as you come up and down. Keep swapping from side to side. Almost 
answer. Lovely. And then bring those feet back in. Have a little stretch out. Knee lift and kick out coming up next. So you need to be further forward in the seat of your chair. I'm going to come this way just so that you can see me properly. Holding on towards the back of your, the seat of your chair there. And then we're getting ready to go with that up, out, up and in, up, out, up and in. You keep going at your own tempo. Stay tall. Make sure that knee goes straight as you push out. Nearly there. Lovely, well done. And then come back into the centre of your chair again. Nice and tall. Chest open. Feet shoulder width apart. We're going to do archer. So bring the arms up at shoulder height. Lift and lengthen through the crown of the head. Here we go. Pull through and out. Pull through and out. As you pull one arm back, reach the other arm forwards. Sit up tall. Keep that elbow high at the back. Keep working. Lovely, and then rest again for me. 20 seconds rest. We're working on our fast feet again next. So you want to come further forward in the seat of the chair, taking the hands behind you, and we'll start with the feet so that they're in narrow. Almost ready to get going. Here we go, out and in. So set your right and try and stick to it throughout this remainder of our 40 seconds work. Make sure you keep breathing. Smile as well, it helps. Almost done, keep pushing to the finish line. again. So we're going into our next and this is going to be our last cycle of the exercises now. We're starting with your arm paddles. So come into the centre of the chair, feet shoulder width apart, arms out in front, straight elbow, shoulders down and here we go, paddle with the arms. Make sure you're getting right down to the knee and up above the eye line each time you go through. So be really precise with that movement, really deliberate, and try and get a nice strong rate going. Keep pushing through, we've got 10 seconds left. Shoulders down away from the ears. Brilliant, well done. And give those arms a little shake out. Step touches are next. So make sure you're far enough forward in the seat of your chair to be able to take that leg out and in, out and in. Okay, let's get ready to go. Out and in. Stay up tall for me. Each time you take the leg out to the side, let's see if we can get it to the same place as it goes round. So that same range of movement every time, right until the very last one. Nearly finished. 
finished. Great stuff, well done. And rest again, 20 seconds rest. We're gonna do our lawn mowers next. Come a little bit forward in the chair. Feet out, knees pointing in the same direction as the toes. And we're gonna pull through and up in three seconds, ready to work again. Here we go, pull up and in. Pull up and in. Bringing that elbow up high each time and try to look at the elbow as you come round. Keep going. Almost done. Excellent stuff, well done. And then resting out again. We've got knee lift and kick out coming up next. So I'm coming this way, just so that you can see what I'm doing. Forward in the seat of the chair, holding onto the, the back of the seat of the chair. And then off we go, up, out, up, down, up, out, up, down. So keep your rate and your tempo fairly steady. Make sure you're working as hard as you're able to do. Straighten that knee out as you kick the leg out. 10 seconds left. Lovely. And that's that one done. Archers coming up next. So get yourself sat comfortably in the center of the chair. Think about tucking your shoulder blades down into your back pockets again. Bring your arms up at shoulder height, ready to go. And then on the bell, we're going to pull through and out, pull through and out. Reach forward with the front arm and keep that back elbow up high. Twisting through the middle part of the back. Keep working for me, you're nearly done. Excellent. And then final one in this block of work, it's gonna be our fast feet. So we've just got to push on for 40 seconds. Start with the feet together, and then holding towards the back of the seat of the chair there, nice and tall. And we're getting ready to work on the bell. Here we go, out and in. So keep breathing. Keep the feet moving. Lovely. Keep that tempo. And we need to work right until that final whistle. Well done, that was really, really good. So we're just gonna take you through a little cool down and a stretch now. Just let your breathing come back down to a more steady pace. And if we can start nice and comfy in the seat of your chair there, roll in the shoulders up and back. Good, up, round and back. Up, round and back. Two more. Excellent, well done. And then taking the arms down by your side, just softening at the elbows. And we're going to lean over one way, just hold that stretch there for me. Good, pulling all the way back up. And then over the other way. Good, and pull back up. We're going to do that again. 
If you want, you can add an overhead arm in as well. If that doesn't feel comfortable, just do what we did before. Pull back up and through. Other side, going up and over with the overhead arm if you want to. Pull it all the way back up and through. Lovely, just shuffle forward a little bit in the seat of your chair there. You're gonna take the leg out with the toes pulled up towards you. And I want you to lean forwards, feeling that stretch up the back of the thigh there. Hold for two breaths. Lovely. And then up we come. We're gonna do the same on the other side. Take that leg out, reaching forwards, feeling the stretch up the back of the thigh. If you need to increase the stretch, just straighten that knee out as much as you can. Two breaths. Excellent, well done. And then come back up into sitting again. Taking the feet just a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. We need to nod your chin down to your chest. Round the shoulders, curve the upper back. And then we're going to fold forwards, reaching down towards the toes. Breathe in at the bottom here. Now breathe out. We're going to come back up. Stacking each little vertebrae up on top of one another, taking the chest open, nice and tall. Let's do that again. Inhale, exhale, nod forwards, fold yourself in half, lengthen down towards the toes, breathe in and hold, breathe out, up we come again, taking yourself up tall and strong. Feet come into about shoulder, shoulder width apart again. Shoulders up around your ears, just drop them down for me. Twice more, inhale, exhale, last one, in and out. Fantastic, well done. Thank you so much for joining me for this workout. I hope you've enjoyed it.